Hi there, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm excited whenever I can find some product that's commonplace that will actually be useful with a guitar and you don't have to spend a bunch of money. Everything's going great with my Ovation Breadwinner. I've made a bunch of videos about it and I've got it uh, just, it's just wonderful. But, as I was continuing to mess around with it, I was trying to understand how to adjust the bridge and I think I might, before I figured out how to do that, I think I might have lowered it a little bit, which started creating some buzzing, which was not there before. And I also put 11s, which were new strings. And so I was getting some buzzing. Now there's a, the tiniest bit of acceptable buzz, but this had increased to the point where I really just, you know, it was driving me nuts. And so I was like, I got to do something about this. So I started looking it up. And this would be of interest to a lot of people out there because I was looking up nylon saddles being on electric guitars, which is not very commonplace in the modern era. It never has been really. And it gives you sort of this different tone and I would never have chosen it. But since it's on this guitar and since it's a prototype, I wanted to make the best of it and just sort of understand it. I think the reason for it is this guitar head is active and it has a very bright circuit and you get extremely bright. And they were concerned that with metal sa uh, steel sa saddles that the brightness level would just be too hard to compensate for. Uh, that's what I think. I could be wrong. Uh, because in later iterations of this model, they simplified the electronics, put steel saddles on it, and the Viper had steel saddles. And there are other guitars uh, that they made. Solid Bodies had steel saddles. So I don't know if they considered the nylon saddle a fail or if it just wasn't popular with people and un unknown, so they made people nervous. I don't know. But in my research on what makes nylon saddles rattle and how to solve it, I discovered that there's a group of people that are heavily into Joe Bonamassa that are doing something with his model. It might be his Epiphone model, it might be his Les Paul model, I'm, I don't know. But he's using like three nylon saddles on that one and like three steel saddles. And uh, I think the, the nylon goes on the the heavier strings, I, I could be wrong, but the idea is to have brightness, I think, on the high strings and a little less brightness, uh, less of a steely tone on the thicker heavy strings, but I could be, I could have that flipped. So, those of you out there that have nylon saddles and have wondered about them, I've done a little research, and I also think that this is potentially a nylon nut. I am not sure. For a minute, I thought it was for sure. Uh, just because it looks like it's aging in the same patina, the same color. Uh, and it just has a similar look, but it could be a bone nut. I'm, it is a little whiter, I'm not sure. But it's potentially a nylon nut. And the nylon was making noise, it was buzzing. So that was a concern, and I was like, how do you get rid of this buzzy noise? Just And it, I wouldn't have noticed it plugged in, but just sitting around the house I was noticing it. And I was trying to get the guitar, you know, perfect, at least for me. And so I looked it up, and there was a product sold by Diadario that was, uh, you had a kind of like a syringe type thing with a needle on it, and you could kind of put this lu lubrication, uh, this dampening fluid uh, at these connect, connect points, and you could do the same thing with the nut, you know, if it was a nylon nut. I was like, oh, okay, so a little lubrication is what you would use. And so I thought about it, you know, I've used coconut oil because it has acid in it that has like a cleaning, it kind of serves the same purpose as goof off. So if you have a guitar that's like really gnarly, like maybe you've got a project that's been handled a lot and it's just nasty and dirty, it's great for just like lifting, safely lifting stuff like that. You know, you don't want to put harsh chemicals on there, so it's a safe way to get it really clean. And then once you get it all clean like that, my favorite like finisher is olive oil. Like it really just did an amazing job with this Les Paul that had some kind of sticky stuff on it from years of pump waxes and stuff that had not fully been buffed out, leave like residue. And that was the only thing I ever had that got rid of that so perfectly. Instead of creating more residue, you know, like some of the products did. So uh, I was really grateful to find the olive oil. But both olive oil and coconut oil have uh, fatty acids and a pretty high 
profile, pretty high content level. Like if you look at the, all the different acids. And so then I look up the chemical composition of nylon and it looks like the kind of thing that destroys nylon is acidic type stuff. I would think you wouldn't want to put vinegar or lemon juice on this and you wouldn't want to use my olive oil or coconut oil. I think you could clean it like it was dirty. You could quickly clean it and get it wiped off with some water or whatever and uh, that would be okay. But what I was looking for is a dampening agent, like a connection kind of lubrication point where it would ideally sort of stay on there. And I don't think you would want to put something acidic on there because over time, probably wouldn't even take that long, it could eat, eat up the bridge and destroy it. And then you would be really confused and bummed that you messed up your prototype bridge screwing around with something stupid. So, petroleum jelly or Vaseline, you know, this is the generic version, I picked this up yesterday. I had some uh, laying around in the house, but it must have been during the baby days because it had like a baby smell. And I don't think I, we even wanted to use that. It was so overpowering. And that was the only kind I had. So I experimented with that on here, which actually made my guitar smell like a baby diaper for a day. I got it all cleaned off. And a couple things that I discovered. The reason that Diodario product would probably be, probably be a good idea as opposed to just sort of putting it on is I put so much on that it really dampened the guitar. Like to the point of like, uh, if you were to play this guitar with some like nickel strings, you know, like some pure nickel. Like if you really wanted that mellowed out Gibson, you know, blues tone. Some people do that with strats, like or tellies just to mellow them out and like kill all the, the shrill highs, you know. So it had that kind of tone, like it was almost, the highs almost disappeared. So, after overdoing it, and plus it smelled weird with that gross stuff, I went and bought this kind, which is just your standard sort of 100% petroleum jelly skin protectant, you know, health and beauty product. And uh, what I did was I took a little push pin that had like a plastic end on it, and I sort of dipped up a little bit, you know, just got it on the end, and then with the strings off, went through and put lubrication on all of the points, you know, where the string travels. And it was literally like just like a, you know, just a small dab in each of these, you know, uh, trails that the string travels through. And I also did the same thing with the nut. And I'm glad I found out about this nut so I won't use any, any of the stuff that I usually use on my nuts uh, knowing that this is potentially nylon. It'll be petroleum jelly only. And, you know, you don't, there's no feel. I don't feel any oil or grease because I put it right on the, that saddle. I pinpointed it, you know, and then the string went over it and the buzz is gone. I mean, it's just gone. And unlike before, when I just kind of smeared it on, I didn't lose the sparkly highs. It sounds like a Strat. I just don't play it hard like a Strat because in another video I'll talk about the bridge adjustment. But the, it has that sort of like wonderful Gibson flat feel where the strings just are so lower. And then I no longer want to try to make my Gibsons have high action. That's, that's reserved for Strats. Uh, I'm learning so much about all this stuff. I, I really don't even want to have any set opinions because they keep changing constantly when I encounter something that invalidates my my thought of before. So I'm just trying to stay open-minded and uh, realize that each guitar has its own setup needs and will, will function best at a certain level. You don't want to make a one-size-fits-all for every guitar. So this uh, is what I'll be using from now on and unless somebody comes on here and tells me how what a bad idea it is and I'm I definitely want to open, I'm trying to stay open to all my commenters because most of them know way more than me and uh, the things they tell me help me uh, avoid mistakes. So if anybody else out there has any more information about nylon saddles and ways to get rid of buzz and how to optimize them, this thing intonates like a dream. I've learned how to lift and lower it. it. It's so far advanced. It's still more advanced than most guitars I've ever messed with, and it was built on my in my birth year. So it shows you that there hasn't been tons of innovation on electric guitar, and there's a good reason for that, mainly because they just sound great already, and if you mess with them too much, you can choke them. But this is really interesting, because for a, a studio session guy and a guy who just wants to go out and have tons of sounds that don't sound so disparate, like it all has a feel of being the same guitar, but it, it gives you a lot more tonal options than like most guitars do. Really cool. Alright, so the nylon saddle thing, 
the lubrication petroleum jelly to avoid any issue and to get rid of string buzz A plus on that. So anybody out there who's got that Joe Bonamassa thing and they're maybe having some rattle and they can't figure out what to do, try that uh, Vaseline thing and I think that Deodera thing, it doesn't look expensive, I need to find it, uh, but that would be a good idea because you don't get it everywhere. Next time.